Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a vintage mirror cookie. Prior to baking, you can either press an oval cookie cutter into the center of your frame so that that will be your mirror. Outline your cookie with some light tan blood consistency icing and a dazzle number two. Go ahead and outline the oval part and then fill in the outer portion of your cookie. Use your scribe needle to evenly distribute your icing. Now with a number two nozzle and light gray flood consistency icing, go ahead and fill in your oval. Use your scribe needle to evenly distribute the gray icing. If you forget to put the impression or you, it doesn't take, use an edible marker and just trace an oval in the center of your cookie. Then go ahead and outline again with your flood consistency tan icing. and the oval, and fill in the perimeter of the cookie. Use your scribe needle to evenly distribute the icing. and fill your oval in with the gray icing. Use your scribe needle to evenly distribute the gray icing. Place your cookie in front of a fan for four hours and then allow the cookie to dry for an additional eight before continuing on. To create a realistic mirror, you're going to need some edible glaze and just brush the gray part of your oval. Then use some silver edible leafing, press it in carefully, and gently rub it with your fingers. 
go over it with a soft brush and carefully remove the paper. And now you have your mirror with soft peak icing and a tip number one, go ahead and pipe an elongated border, an elongated bead border. Allow your icing to crust before going on to the next step. To give your mirror that vintage look, we're going to go and brush some edible bronze dust onto our cookie. You will want to get the edge of the cookie and the edge of where the icing and the cookie meet. I find that a stiff square brush works best and when I'm all done, I bring in the edges to give a faded look. To add a decorative border, go ahead and pipe a bead and two fleur de lises on either side. Do this all the way around the cookie Allow it to dry and paint it with a little bit of lemon extract and classic gold petal dust. Thank you so much for watching me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.